Sign up at the end of this review to get my personal gear list. Hey there, Tony Policastro here from The Acoustic Letter, and today we have a piece of history. Guitar history, Gibson history, we've got it here today. But before we get into this guitar, let me remind you to please stick around to the end of The Acoustic Letter and sign up because you will be so happy you did so. I am holding a piece of guitar history. This is a 1994 J200, but it is no ordinary J200. It is the J200 Monarch, which was built by Master Luthier Ren Ferguson in honor of Gibson's 100 year anniversary. And I must say that it's dressed up and then dressed up one more notch. And then right when we got to the top of the notch of being dressed up, we decided to add five more notches and dress it up five more notches. So what I'm really trying to say is that this guitar embodies guitar history and it definitely looks it. It was built for a king, hence the monarch. King of the flat tops, monarch, J200, dressed up, it's all there. What we have on this guitar is a Sitka spruce top with an ebony bridge, classic mustache shape, a bone saddle, bone pins with abalone dots, and you noticed there's abalone inlay all on the bridge. We have a beautiful classic J200 point set of pattern pickguard that is engraved and inlaid with abalone. Around the sound hole, which is bound, we also have an abalone rosette and abalone purfling used around the entire top, around this sides, and around this beautiful three piece. Brazilian rosewood back. You'll notice that the purfling extends around the entire border on either side of the center wedge and as I said before this guitar is dressed up for sure. And it smells like Brazilian rosewood which is probably my most favorite thing in the world is to smell Brazilian rosewood. That's the body. Going up the neck we have an ebony fingerboard with beautiful crown inlays done in various colors of abalone really really done well bound in a cream binding the neck is a beautiful flame maple with a center strip done in natural the other pieces are done in a sunburst we have an ebony back strap on the back of the headstock with a very special engraving number one since this was the first monarch to ever even leave the gibson shop the back of the peg head is bound in a really cool cream black cream black binding we have gorgeous crown waverly tuners the buttons are done in mother of pearl with inlaid actual diamonds on Waverly tuners. It's like the best tuner you could possibly get. It looks incredible. It's like glowing with gems and it's a Waverly. You can't beat that. That's cool. We have a beautiful classy headstock with Gibson inlaid in cursive. The dot in the eye of the Gibson is inlaid with an actual diamond. We have the crown inlaid with abalone, mother of pearl and other precious gemstones. And the truss rod cover is a mother of pearl abalone mixture and it looks cool. It kind of simulates the crown. That's also bound in a cream black, cream black binding. And as I said before, this guitar not only embodies a beautiful looking guitar, but 100 years of history and being that it was built by Ren Ferguson, Master Luthier over at Gibson, it kind of holds a special place in the echelon of beautiful collector, almost art guitars. So we're going to give this J200, this 1994 J200 Monarch, the first one ever, a play, so you can hear what this piece of guitar history sounds like.
Click the link to get the world's best acoustic guitar reviews sent to your inbox. Why? Because it's free and it's the easiest way to get prices and high-res photos of each guitar. Plus, as soon as you sign up, you'll get the free tabs and lessons for the songs I play in my guitar reviews. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this button.